Hello, Mary Meet. So I said in my review of uh, Modern Spellcasters Tarot that I would do a separate review of the book because it's far more than basically a glorified little white book that you usually find in uh, box sets. And so the book deserves its own review. So this is my review of The Spellcaster's Handbook by Melanie Marquis, and it's illustrated by Scott Murphy. Uh, first of all, let me say that I really like the design of this book. I love that deep brown uh, and, well, yes, the design of it. it it's a good looking book. So, what do we find in here then? Lots and lots of acknowledgements. Uh, basically, we have an introduction chapter, and then we have Anatomy of Tarot, which basically, let me just show you. It will go through the tarot and basically what the tarot is, um, what the cards are, the, the, some of the basic symbolism, and so on. The numerology, it's basically, it goes through it pretty quickly, but, and uh, books dedicated to these topics on their own would be better, but it will still give you a basic idea of those topics. Then you have uh, tarot deck uh, care and maintenance. Let me just find it here. It's basically um, goes through tarot deck, treating it as a magical item, how you can, how you should store it, keep it, um, cleanse them, and also practical things like what do you do if you spill something in the tarot cards? How can you wash them? That's quite a useful chapter. Then we have how to read the cards, which basically, um, let me show you. Where do we have it there? It basically goes through your, your basic how to when it comes to reading the cards, uh, and how to put cards together, and how to get a feel for the reading, all those simple practical uh, things. Using tarot for magic. This is the chapter that's sort of the big thing about the book. So let's have a look at that one. Uh, 41, where are you? Excuse me, my phone decided to have a little bit of a... Say something. I am uh, on my way to go out, you see, so I just had to have... Um, my phone on, so I could um, hear it when I said... Ready? I have a little bit more time. So, yeah, using Tarot for Magic, which is basically describes how do you use the tarot as a magical tool. Um, it basically it describes here some tarot talismans and uh, how to use basically the cards as talismans. Uh, and uh, uh, basically, you can use it as a um, uh, correspondence. So let's say you want, um, you, you need uh, something to represent uh, water, just like something very simple. You can use one of the water sweet cards, also one of the cups, for that. Uh, how to manipulate them, you can cover it with another card. Basically, it's a system. It describes a system for how to manipulate your cards on the altar to cast magic with them. Uh, you can say it's a little bit similar to crystal uh, grids, how you manipulate them. Um, then you have a couple of spells here. You have a tarot spell for good luck. Uh, we have a sample tarot spell for protection. Circle casting with a tarot, which can be very powerful. Basically using tarot cards with in circle casting, and that is that on that chapter. It's not a huge chapter. There are 
old books about using uh, tarot for magic. And I do, if you're interested in the topic, I do recommend getting one of those. But this book will get you started on it. So yes, finding the index again. Uh, going through all of the acknowledgements. <laughs> Uh, we have the five major arcana and six minor arcana. It, it's basically the it goes through the cards and what they mean. And then we have seven, which are some tarot spreads. I'm not sure if I need to show you that uh, those three chapters because it's basically they can show you the tarot spreads. I could find them. Uh, we have, of course, um. We have a one card spread, it's always in there. We have a Celtic cross, because somebody will be shot if not every tarot product includes the Celtic cross. And then we have a four card credit for problem solving, that's one pretty useful. And uh, then you have a section on creating your own tarot spreads, which is short but interesting. And yes, and then it has some on your next step, basically, about how do you go from here. So, basically, could this book stand on its own without this kit? I would say it's halfway there. It's not as informative and there's not as much information in it that I would think that it, at least not unless it was a bargain bin book, uh, would be much worse buying on its own. However, it is a book. There is a good deal of information in here and I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. And it will teach you the necessary steps for using magic with tarot. I would have wished for that section to be bigger because as it is, it's basically, it gives you a taste. It starts you on it, but it doesn't go beyond that. And that's a shame when the entire kit is based on that premise, that's its gimmick, that's its thing. So there should have been more than just a few pages on using the Tarot for Magic. But what's in here is pretty decent. As basically a follow a book that comes with the Tarot Kit, it's awesome. It's one of the best I have seen lately. As a book on its own, it's a completely okay book that can be worth a read through and has some interesting ideas. There are, however, some really good books out there on using the tarot for magic, which if you're interested in that, I, I suggest getting a book about it that can stand on its own. So yeah, that is my review of The Spellcaster's Handbook by Melanie Marquise and illustrated by Scott Murphy. And it's published by Lavellin. I hope you have enjoyed this review. Have a great day and blessed be.